Hi guys, Luton here, and I'm here for you with another thought for the day, and this one today is about defence, and more importantly, about what to be aware of when you're defending, which is something that not too many people are. Now, recently I've had a few games where this kind of all went out the window, and this is a pretty good example. This was literally uh, some games I had very, very recently. You can see that we've got the kind of average attack coming in on us, uh, tanks down the road, Humvees, and the helicopter. Now look at my mini-map right now. I've got a tank on my left, that's going to have two guys. There's a mounted gun, and we've got another two blues up here. Basically, there's about four blue guys up here, and that's one whole squad. But look how far these guys have pushed forward. Look at my mini-map right now. They're right, they're right out of the base. They're so far forward. And that's because, you know, we're not that far into the game if you look at the tickets right here. Look, we've got four guys there. Now when you think about how the rest of the team are going to be distributed, Rook from my squad, he's in the aircraft, John here on my left, and I'm not sure where Trego is, <laughs> but we got the tank here as well. The other guys are kind of distributed around, there's perhaps one guy back in our base, I think there's a tank out in the field as well. So they're kind of spread out. Now when you consider that Caspian is quite a wide open base, it's really not a good idea. And those guys were pushed so far forward that what happens is the guys jump out of the helicopter here and they jump straight out onto A. The guys that are over there at A are so far back that they can't defend it and we lose A. You can see it, we've lost A here. And even though we've lost A, none of those guys came back. They still stay forward. Um, you know, I'm me and John here trying to control the base. We're trying to do what we can to keep things in control because there's nobody else back here. Um, got one other blue guy with us here. I'm not sure who that is. Well, we've still got you know heavy enemy fire coming in we've got the helicopter coming in and people just not really maintaining the golden circle rule which i am yet to make a video about which i really really need to do i have made a short mention of it in another one if you guys look back through my videos you'll find one about metro tactics and that came out um i think it came out perhaps even before the beta it was a it was a long time ago and in fact the map that i used was a kind of pre-beta map, so the the uh, M compositions are in a different place than they are, you know, in reality. So you can see, look on my right over here. See these guys are so far up. Look, they're still in that that front line, and that will work on some other maps. But Caspian is such a huge map; it takes literally no effort at all for the enemy to flank round. And also think about oh, this was a nice little hit here. Think about uh, the other video that I've done where I showed how you can flank as one player all the way around Caspian. Um, I, I, I soloed the base, basically. Now this is a slightly longer episode, and the reason it was longer for my Thought for the Day videos is because I just wanted to show how important it is that we have people back here. And look again at the minimap, we've got four guys moving down that right hand side. They're really coming in close now, and even though we've got a few blues in this area they've pulled back, we really still don't have anyone here. Uh, the weight of numbers that's coming in on us, and it's very, very difficult to sort of see where people are now. And it's all about momentum as well, you know, they, they took out those forward guys, and then because we didn't really have any strong positions, they've come in and cleared us out. I was interested as well how this tank managed to hit me when I was actually behind that container at the time. That was a bit weird. Um, it must have been either a bit of lag or something like that. Anyway, so you can see now that B has gone down, and really it is just about that kind of localised area. Um, and again, we have the scoreboard come up here, and you can see that there's four guys, a squad, on top, and they've been picking up those kills from people coming in. You might say, well, that's all very well and good looting, because you know if they're getting the kills, they're preventing them from coming into the game. Kind of, but not really, because if they will get the kills, but they're so far forward that they will, you know, they're not helping us defend against the flanking, and that is what will lose you the game every time, the flanking, not necessarily those strong kills. We see it time and again. So think about it when you're in game, guys. Uh, think about how to defend. Think about getting in a strong position. Don't push too far forward. Don't overreach. Getting those kills is not always the most important thing for the game. Important, yes, but not the most important thing. Thanks for watching guys, see you again.